My topic, well, my title for my project is the stress-free classroom. Um, so the main goal of my project is to have like a class that students can go to in person, but they're taking the class online. It helps to relieve some stress for some students. Um, I picked this topic because I've had classes where I either feel like the teacher's moving too fast or sometimes even too slow. And it's hard to either keep up with what the teacher's trying to teach or honestly feel like some days are very repetitive. Or there's some days like if you miss a class and then you get really behind because you missed like one day and then you don't have like information for the next day in class or even just the class like stresses me out. Just in general, like having to do presentations or getting cold called on or stuff like that. Um, so raise your hand if you've ever taken an online class before. Um, so raise your hand if you've ever been in the online learning lab class at Brighton. Okay, so for those of you who haven't been in the class, basically the class where there's a bunch of different kids from a bunch of different online classes all in one computer lab. And you kind of just go do your own thing. The teacher doesn't teach you at all. But you have to have one online class per trimester and you have to have 90% attendance in order to pass the class. And this can be really nice, but sometimes it can also be <coughs> a little tricky if you, if you finish your class early, you still have to go to the class to get the attendance in order to pass, but you don't have any work that you need to do. And it can kind of be hard if you have an online class you're taking and you have like questions about it or you're kind of confused on an assignment. You don't have like a teacher that you can go and talk to. You have to do like a help ticket and it's a big process that you have to go through. Um, so my project needs an idea are to have a class that's online but in-person attendance and in-person help if you need the help in order to try and create a stress-free environment for the students who may need it. Um, so the overall idea of the project is to help the kids who struggle with either keeping up in class or getting to school on time or just in general for whatever reasons they may not be at school. Um, I want to try to accomplish this by making the class that the teachers here at Brighton will teach the class, but so they're educated about the subject that, or the online class that the students are taking. Um, so every student that's in the class will be in the same online class. So it's not like scattered all over the place. And so you can talk to your peers or your teacher if you need help. And to ensure that the kids are actually doing the course and not just like daily dallying or waiting till last second to complete it, there'll be like a midterm deadline or and like an end of trimester deadline that you have to meet in order to pass the class. Um, does that make sense so far? On your hands, show five for make sense and one makes no sense. Okay, good. Um, so in my survey, I asked a bunch of questions, and these are just two of them that I thought got good, got good info back. The first one is, what are some things you liked about online learning? And a bunch of the responses were being able to work at their own pace, or it's easier to access and easier to understand. Um, and I think that's important because that gave me good info that people like to do work when they can go at their own pace instead of having to follow along with like a rubric or a teacher. And then I asked the opposite kind of what are things that they disliked about online learning. And they said that it made it difficult to make friends and they don't like Zoom and feeling isolated from everyone being at home. And so something about online learning is that it would be more difficult to have like a social aspect of your life every day if you just did straight online school instead of coming to class, like coming to school and doing your classes. So the class could be a good like kind of in between where you're going at your own pace, able to do your own thing, not having to follow like a teacher or a rubric or whatever, but you're also still able to get that social interaction with like friends and teachers every day in order to help with that. Um, for my interviews, I interviewed two people. I interviewed Miss Nash, she teaches health here at Brighton, you guys probably know her, and Alex Hugely, she's a junior here at Brighton. Um, I asked them both a question, I asked, I explained the class to them, and then I asked them if they thought it would be beneficial for a class like this at Brighton, and Nash said, Yes, I think it would be beneficial because students would be able to have a set block time to complete their class. I think it could also help those students who struggle with keeping up with work and attending school every day on time and in focus. And Alex said, I feel like it could be good and bad. I don't think it should be a required class because I don't think it's for everyone, but I would love to take classes like that, especially for math. 
And I felt like that was good information back because the class isn't gonna be for everyone. Not everyone's gonna be interested in taking a class like this. So it's not gonna be required, but it would be a good alternative to students who feel like it could be helpful for them that they could use. Um, this is my action plan. So the first one was objective is to inform the students about the classes so they can start thinking about them and signing up for them. So for next year, arena scheduling doesn't open until like after summertime. So a good way to help students learn about it is to start talking about it now through like assemblies, but not everyone goes assemblies. Most kids usually skip assemblies. So letters could also be a good one so it's on paper so you don't aren't just like remembering all the information in your head. Um, flex is a good way to spread the word, especially on Mondays when you have to be in your required flex class or bangle moves also could be a good idea. And I think it would be important to not only inform the students about it, but also the parents, because that way, I don't know, I just feel like having the parents know about it would kind of make it go more smooth with signing up for it, because they can help out the students and, you know, you students could talk to their counselors about it. Um, second one is to find courses that many students can take that can be worked on at their own pace. Um, this one's pretty easy to do. There's, CVHS has a bunch of different classes you can take online. This is just the categories of the classes you have. And it goes, you can push down, it goes into a bunch of different like, actual classes you can be in. Um, and for the class, I think it, it's important for everyone to be in the same, the exact same class, not the same overall like idea class. So like chemistry, sophomore year chemistry is all taught by one teacher instead of like a bunch of different sciences with a science teacher helping out. So that way you have, can have specific questions to ask the teacher. Kind of. Um, then the last one is to create a classroom that kids can take the online course in. Um, this one's a little trickier, but I was thinking that teachers, so there's teachers that are in that they have five class periods with one prep. Um, so the teacher that teaches that subject will be assigned one of those classes. And depending on how many students actually sign up for the class, you could do like one class period a day where it's online. And so the teachers are still teaching their interactive like lecture classes where they like make a lesson plan and stuff like that, but they also have the online class where the students are taking their same class, but just online and they're there to help them if they need help or I don't know if they have questions or anything. Um, so instead of like a regular class period, it'll just be an online class period. And I think this would be very helpful for some students to help out and stuff like that. So um, do you guys think that this class would be beneficial? Go ahead and talk to like your neighbor, like someone around you for 30 seconds and then we can talk about it after. Yeah. Well, I said it would be more engaging than just actually sitting there online. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a few have motivation to actually do your course. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I think it'd be helpful because with the online classes I took, they were on a semester schedule. And it's just hard to do that after I've been on the trimester schedule. Yeah. And there's my works cited page. <laughs> 